Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how to turn your sketch into a minimalist line art in Adobe Illustrator. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Hey guys, so here is the line art sketch that I started in Procreate. If you want to follow along with this tutorial at home and create your own similar minimalist line drawing, I'd recommend either starting with a pre-made sketch you've done on your own, or I'd recommend finding an actual image that you can place into Illustrator to trace from. So I actually traced an image of my boyfriend and I, and you can see it here in the time lapse. I'd highly recommend going in and doing a little bit of exploring with the line work and deleting and adding different line sketches to get the kind of look that you want. So you can see here that I've modified this a couple of different times and I settled on something that's a little bit more minimal. All right guys, so I'm actually gonna finish this sketch in Adobe Illustrator. So I created a new document, eight and a half by 11 vertical and the next thing I did was I placed the image just so that I have it in here. And then I went into the properties palette and I embedded the image. And so embedding the image actually keeps it from getting unlinked from this document. I would highly recommend embedding your images that you place into Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so let's just make sure that we save this file. I'm notorious for not saving any files and losing them. So we'll go ahead and save it to desktop. Okay, so we have our image on layer one. Go ahead and bump down the transparency on this and we'll put it at 50%. Let's go ahead and lock that layer and then we'll create a new layer above it and the top layer we're actually going to use that to trace this on top let's go ahead and choose a black stroke color we'll press x and toggle to fill and we actually don't want a fill color in there so because we're only going to do line work let's focus on doing that there's a couple of different ways you can actually trace this you can use the pen tool or you can use the pencil tool. So if you're working off a tablet, you can most definitely use the pencil to get more organic lines. That's what I would recommend. If you're comfortable, you can go ahead and do that. And so I think I will try to do pencil and you can always modify these lines as you go. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll go back to N for pencil on your keyboard. And if you, you know, just kind of pick up where you left off, you can keep going. And there is a way to join these lines together. So here's a little dash there, and that will allow you to pick up where you left off on the path. So you can keep going. You can zoom this in so that you can see what you're drawing. I'm honestly just using my trackpad on my laptop whatever you're comfortable with. Honestly, I just use my trackpad, but I do have a tablet. I'm pretty comfortable with not using one, so I just choose not to use one. There's some pretty interesting line work here. And what we can do later is we can also play with the different line widths so that we get a variation in some of the lines and I'll show you how to do that in just a little bit. But the way that I would go about tackling this is to actually just keep going, build the lines, and then when you're happy with the placement of where you drew the lines, then you can go in and use the width tool and that will actually increase, just like this little illustration here, it'll increase the stroke so that you get a variety of line widths. So from here, I'm actually just going to speed up this entire tutorial.
All right, guys, so I'm going to stop right here. So as you can see, it's not perfect. There is a couple of things that I suggest once you get to this point is to look over the line work and make sure that everything looks good, that it's where you want it to be placed. This is the time where you can make adjustments by pressing the direct selection tool or A on your keyboard and you can see different areas where you need to connect them or if you like them imperfect that way you can also leave it again this is all very abstract so it doesn't have to look like it's actually perfect so actually really love the imperfection and so the only thing that I would recommend at this point is changing the line widths and also we'll actually uh, select this whole entire thing. We can go to stroke. Let's click on the round cap. So what that does is it rounds out the ends so that they look like they'll start looking like this instead of the square ends that you saw earlier so that this actually has a little bit more of an organic shape to it. The next thing we can do is let's go ahead and select this and we can experiment with the line widths tool. So I wouldn't do it for everything, but maybe the edges on some of these would be really cool. I love the way that looks. Wow, that looks really awesome. And then I would recommend when you're doing this to just select everything, press the line widths you can zoom in to figure out what areas that you want to widen some of the line weights. So for me, I would actually recommend doing edges or you know the outer edges. So let's try it again. Okay, not bad if you zoom out. Okay, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna just keep selecting this and then I'm going to go through the right side and do it on her hair. The hair is kind of like more organic so you want to try it on parts um, of the drawing that that might look a little bit more organic and again you can go in individually and change some of these if you want. So what else? Let's see, maybe this side of the face could be fixed. All right, I'm loving the way this is looking. I actually might be printing this out and putting it in our apartment. Um, hopefully you can come up with your own drawing. Even if you sketch your drawing by hand and took a photo of it and placed it in Illustrator, you can kind of get this super cool effect. Or if you started with a photo reference or you sketch something in Procreate, either way it doesn't really matter or if you have an actual image like a photo reference of something you can actually place it here into illustrator as well so hopefully you got something out of this and for example if you didn't want other stuff like this if that's a little too much and you want to keep it even more abstract you can definitely do that so yeah have fun with this and or if you guys have any questions feel free to comment below 
and hopefully you'll get to create something really fun with this tutorial. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.